God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That like God gave himself to us to be saved, we also must give ourselves to God to save the lost, sharing the gospel that is the only way we can demonstrate the true love of God. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. You are my friend if you do whatever I command you. With the love of Christ, we can't sit down and watch people getting lost. We can't watch them falling in hell. We can't waste our time for the apostles, they never wasted their years. We must pay the cost for the cross, for the gospel is purchased by the blood of the Lamb. It was then handed to us by the shedding of the blood of the martyrs. The prophets paid the cost, the apostles paid the cost. We were killed for our sake to receive the truth. We must count the cost of this generation to be saved. The truth has never been good to the world. We persecuted Christ for the truth. For the truth to prevail, they killed the apostles. And for this truth to prevail, we must give our life for the truth to stand. Persecution and tribulations are decorating pills for the clown of the righteous one. Yeah, and all that we live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. We ought to get serious and to rise up for the battle is real. Preach the gospel in season and out of season. Rebuke and correct with all love to the lost. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Serious, therefore, and repent. The time is running out, and the days are evil. The darkness is taking over from the church to the world. We have to shine out our right to the rest. We have a mission to do in these last days to preach the gospel and to save the lost, for our Master Jesus Christ is coming. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent you and believe the gospel. There is a cry of the Spirit, a cry for the liberations of souls. There is a cry of the Spirit crying out for the fear of God. There is a cry of the Spirit crying out for righteousness, crying out for holiness, crying out for repentance. There is a cry of the Spirit crying out for the kingdom of God is at hand. There is a cry of the Spirit. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquities?